Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to review the HTC Resound. The Resound is a premium smartphone on Verizon. It's a 4G LTE phone, and it kind of is set, setting itself apart with the Beats logo here on the back. It comes with a set of Beats headphones, so let's go ahead and take a look at those. They come in this nice package, and I have them off to the side here. So these are the headphones themselves. They're kind of like the tour beats you would buy in the store, pretty much the same. They have audio controls for your music, up and down, pause, things like that. And they come in this nice little package, and inside here we have a couple different earphone sizes. But we'll talk about the audio quality in a moment. Let's first talk about the specs of the phone. The Resound is pretty impressive when it comes to specs. It's a 720p screen, so that means 1280 by 720 p resolution, or 720 pixel resolution, by 4.3 inches and it really makes for a very very good looking screen it's higher resolution than an iphone 4 or 4s but it's a slightly larger screen overall it gives you beautiful text and videos and it's really nice to watch videos on this phone so let's talk about the other things though so we have the screen but we also have a forward facing camera that's two megapixels on this side we have our volume rocker up and down on the bottom we have our microphone on this side, we have our micro USB charge port or sync port. We also have our noise canceling microphone here. On the top, we have our sleep wake power button along with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the front, like I mentioned before, next to the camera, we have our ear, earphone and our buttons on the bottom, home menu, back, search. On the back, we have our speaker down here at the bottom. We also have an 8 megapixel dual LED flash camera. And the camera is capable of 720p or 1080p video, so really nice, and we'll talk about that also. The phone itself comes with a decent battery. Let's go ahead and show you here. And you need a decent battery. It's good for about 6 hours of talk time, uh, 6, 6.5 hours, and over 200 hours of standby and is pretty decent as far as longevity. You can see here's the 4G SIM card, here's the 16 gig micro SD card, and it also has 16 gigs of internal storage as well. And they have this nice little translucent back. Now the processor inside is a dual 1.5 gigahertz processor, along with a gig of RAM for, for the processor to use, so it's a pretty fast phone. It does run Gingerbread, or Android 2.3, Let's go ahead and power it on here. There we go. While we're waiting for this to boot, uh, the phone itself feels really nicely built. Kind of like the Beats headphones. They feel quality. They feel like it's going to last. You don't have to worry about it. And overall, it's just really nice. So let's go ahead and wait for it to boot, and we'll take a look at the main screen here. Here's our main home screen. This is the latest version of HTC Sense. And you can see it looks really nice, really simple. And instead of a normal bar to unlock like an iPhone or slide the screen like some of the Motorola's, what we have here is a little ring. We can drag this up, it will unlock. But as you saw here before, let me turn it back on, we have a couple different options along the bottom. So we have phone, camera, messages, and mail. And what we can do is if we want to quickly go to the camera, we can drag the camera down into the ring, and we've got the camera. So that's a nice feature. And the camera's pretty fast. It takes really nice pictures, really nice video. You can see it just took the picture of my hand there. Uh, you do need to enhance it a little bit using some of the effects we have here. It really helps with with the autocorrect and things. It took a really dark, grainy picture I took earlier and made it look like it should have in normal light. So it was it did a pretty good job as, as far as that goes. Now the UI itself is very fast due to the Snapdragon processor that it has. That's the dual 1.5 gigahertz. Really, really fast. So let's go ahead and show you that. You can see the UI has changed a little bit if you're familiar with Sense. When I move this, everything kind of pivots to the left and right. You can see there it's pivoting and it just adds to a nice look. And if I move this fast, while this is kind of useless, it just shows you how fast this really is and how fast things can scroll. If I hit home, it just goes right back to home, blows out the windows, things like that. Overall, it's really nice. It, it's a really fast experience, and the battery lasts all day long, so it does a good job there. Now, as far as the music is concerned, I've been using Google Music. I uploaded my music to the cloud, listened to some of the music, and I compared it with an iPhone 4S just to see 
what I could hear if it was any different. I used the exact same headphones as well. Now as far as that goes, I really don't hear much of a difference at all. In fact, it sounds good on both. It's not as good as, say, something else that's meant specifically for music. You do get a little bit of interference from the 3G, 4G radio in here. Uh, I heard occasionally, but it was pretty rare, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Overall, though, the sound was crisp and clear, and as good as you're going to get with Beats headphones. Uh, you could always go more expensive if you wanted to, but you get a pretty decent sound overall with the music. Overall, though, the phone is really great. Let me go ahead and show you the internet browser uh, quickly here. We'll go ahead and go to Zolotech, have it saved. I'm on my own home Wi-Fi full signal. The phone overall picks up a pretty good signal. You can see there's the bars there. I'm in a split level. I'm kind of in the downstairs, so uh, it picks up three bar, three to four bars down here in the downstairs. You can see it's pretty fast. There is that little bit of chop for some reason. But overall, it's pretty good. Now, if I get back here and I pinch out, I can open another window. It's a neat way they do it in Sense UI. So I can go to Google, Google Loads, pinch out, go over here, go back to this. So it's a quick way to get back and forth between your windows, which is nice. And it's a nice little touch. It looks great. So overall, the phone is nice, feels well built. Now, there are, are some other phones out there that are uh, close in price and pretty competitive like the, Ga the Galaxy Nexus and the Galaxy Nexus is really nice and personally I would pick the Nexus over this phone but that's just because I really like ice cream sandwich over gingerbread and it, it just feels snappier as far as the UI goes for whatever reason. I think once they upgrade these phones hopefully to ice cream sandwich you'll see a huge difference as far as that goes and with the very fast processor in this phone it should be even faster than the other so Maybe you would want to get this and wait. It's really up for you, up to you to decide. And what I would suggest is go to the store and try one of these out if you can, because it's a really nice phone and it's got some nice things in the UI like this. Uh, it's snowing here. It's 27 degrees, pretty cold, and it's just got nice little touches as far as the UI goes. If you like the Sense UI better, uh, you're definitely going to like this phone. So go ahead and maybe head over to a Verizon store. Uh, maybe a Best Buy, something like that. Check out the phone and see what you think. And, and uh, it's, it's worth getting your hands on because it's pretty heavy, but it feels like a quality heaviness, so it's not overly heavy. Definitely check it out. It's been great. I've been watching some videos on it on YouTube just to see what it's like. I like it. Uh, I like this phone a lot. It, it feels like it's going to stand the test of time as far as wear and tear goes, so... It's worth checking out, like I said. Now, if you have any questions, please go ahead and place those in the comment below. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.